guys, it's Ellie. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, my name is Ellie Arquette. I am a psychic medium, a manifestation coach, and founder of Ellie Arquette Cosmetics. I don't have any, <laughs> I don't have any makeup on. I just did a manifestation video for my fifth channel. I am wearing my new lipstick, Bare. And it's a super, super nudie lipstick that's matte. And that's all I have on my face. You guys can see how bare it is. That's why I've called it bare because I just wanted to have like a really, really, really nude lipstick that I didn't have in my collection. So um, if you guys are interested in my vegan, organic, cruelty-free makeup and skincare, which is good for you and it's good for your skin, go to elliearchettshop.com and shop till you drop. If you guys wanna to come to me for coaching, readings, anything spiritual, go to elliearchette.com. Give this video a like, subscribe, and let's get into today's video. Okay, so first of all, I did not wash my hair last night. I ended up watching a bunch of movies on HBO Max. So, um, but I look like sexy as fuck. I look really good, why? Because I made myself like a rice water last night and I sprayed it in my hair, my scalp, and I massaged it. My hair was like really wet and then I wrapped it up. And this morning I woke up and my hair looked really crazy and sticky from all the starch from the rice, but then I combed it and then I was like, bitch, 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 this technique works, honey. I guess like, I don't know, there's like this little village in like Japan or I don't know, somewhere in uh, Asia and there was these like super old, like 90, 100 year old like women that have long jet black hair with no grays. And they basically wash their hair with rice water. So this is the result. I haven't washed it. And it looks like I went to the salon and I just got like a poofy poofy hair style going on. Anyways, I wanted to do a video on Michael Jackson for you guys. Yes, 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 they used to say that Michael Jackson was a pedophile and um, there's all these accusations about, you know, young boys, blah, 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 blah. I don't know if it happened or not. I don't really know. I don't care. I love Michael Jackson and I don't, I don't wanna say I don't care, but I just don't, I don't know. I don't know, maybe he was, I don't know. I know that he was molested and I know his brothers were molested. So any times, any times. Anytime you're molested and you have any inappropriate experiences as a child, you have a tendency to kind of um, act it out in your adult years. So was he, it's possible because he was, you know, abused. He was, he is a, he, he was a, he was a, um, let me stage myself. Oh God, it smells so good. By the way, I have the right to use white sage. Not everybody is allowed to use white sage, but I'm allowed because I have friends that are indigenous and they said that I could. So shut the fuck up. I'm bashing crazy today. Okay, so I want to take a look and see what the fuck happened to Michael Jackson. Was he murdered? Was Is there a conspiracy? Is he alive? Did they fake his death? Did they kill him? Did he overdose? Was he a pedophile? So that's what we're gonna do. I know I've been yapping for four minutes, but if you like this content, you better fucking like this video, subscribe, or else. Okay, so thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. We're just gonna go right into it. I wanna find out Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson. So Michael Jackson, what happened to Michael Jackson? How did he die? Uh, is he really dead? Just, okay, so how did he die? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. How, 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 how did Michael Jackson die? I'm using, um, what is this? I'm using Gilded Terra Royale. Gilded Terra Royale. This is the deck that I'm using, okay? And I look like fucking hot as fuck. Like my hair is just like all poofy and just like, bitch, it's just living. Like the hair is just living. Okay, so thank you, thank you, thank you. How did Michael Jackson die? Thank you, Spirit. How did Michael Jackson die? How, how did Michael Jackson die? Let's see what's coming out. We have the hangman. We have the eight of pentacles. We have the seven of cups, and then we have the two of wands. I literally have no fucking idea what this means right now in regards to his death. Let me see what's coming to me, okay? So the hangman. Oh my God, duh. Oh my God. You guys, do you guys know what the hangman means? Let me see if I can like find the definition so I can read you guys. Oh my fucking God. As I was like, I don't know what this means. It just like fucking came to me. Um, God, where the fuck, where's the hangman? Where's the, uh, okay, hold on. 
So, um, the hangman, the message of this card is, is knowing when and what to sacrifice. That's the meaning of this card. I said, how did Michael Jackson? It's like the video is done. The video is done. I'm fucking amazing, by the way. I just have to say, you know, sometimes I'm cocky and sometimes I'm humble, but I'm telling you, sometimes I'm really fucking cocky because like I'm fucking amazing. Like, do you guys see this shit? Like out of all this, this, all the deck, all the cards in this deck, this is the first card that came out. The meaning of this card is the message of this card is knowing when and what to sacrifice. If you guys think I'm full of shit, I'm gonna put this to the to the to the to the camera so you guys can see. Right here. When to sacrifice. Right here. That was fucking crazy. So that's the first card that he came out that basically he was sacrificed. By the way, I'm in the same outfit. I just did a video for my manifestation channel. So don't come for me. I don't give a fuck. Um I didn't get I didn't have a chance to change i don't have any makeup on and i'm just gorgeous hold on my phone is blowing up let me just turn it off oh people are just buying my makeup you guys i'm selling out so if you want my lipstick come and get it and then you're gonna be like ellie do you have any more no i don't have any more it's finished it's gone this is my this is a this is the nudist lipstick i have and it's i've named it bear because it looks like you don't have anything on it looks like you're naked as fuck Sacrifice, so Michael Jackson was sacrificed. Now the next card is Eight of Pentacles. This is in regards to his work. I think that they sacrificed him because he wanted to have more control with his work and his music and he was sick of it. Um, and basically they gave him, okay, now it's coming to me. Like now it's coming to me because I'm really hyper and I wanna go outside and play because it's really nice out and I just didn't wanna be psychic right now, but I have to be in order to do this video, so Basically, they sacrificed him because of his work. He was very serious about his work and his music, and they gave him kind of a choice, like, hey, you can go down this alley, or you can go down this alley, okay? And because he didn't choose the right path, they took him out. So they took him out, as you guys saw, that card was a sacrifice. Now, I think that Michael was bi, okay? So we have the two of pentacles. This card for me in this deck always represents bise bisexuality, um, kind of like, you know, um, yeah, that's just kind of like bi. It's that, that's what this card represents to me. And also like the rainbow thing just kind of gives me the vibe of like, you know, LGBTQ. So I think that he was bisexual. Maybe he was attracted to men and women. Um, and musicians are a lot of times, Musicians uh, a lot of times have, you know, they have, they are able to be, you know, in touch with their femininity and, you know, he wore makeup and he was very like, he was very uh, consumed with, with the way he looked. He was very insecure about his looks. His hair like burned off, he had to wear wigs. And, you know, he was like, his dad made fun of his features for being like having a big nose or having really bad acne. Or, you know, he just, like his dad used to be like, I have light eyes and you're, you're dark and ugly. Like, you know, he was really like abused. Like, I don't know, and he was like sexually abused, but he was also like verbally and mentally and emotionally physically abused greatly by his father um and so i think all of that just accumulated into this him just wanting to like be like he want, he was like seeking perfection he was seeking perfection and i think because he was abused maybe he dwell in you know sexuality of like being with guys being with girls whatever we don't care what he did in his private life you know um as long as he didn't hurt anybody as long as he didn't hurt anyone and those two guys that fucking came out and they were like oh yeah he molested us and blah 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 all that discussing that interview with oprah is so fucking disgusting like i just couldn't even watch it and i couldn't make myself sit there and watch it and because it was it was so graphic and the way those guys were talking about my it just made me just like disgusted and I was like even if this happened why are you coming on Oprah to talk about it there was something very very like odd about this like you guys have you you want to come and tell the world like you can just I don't know Oprah is in the Illuminati you guys Oprah is in the Illuminati um what's his face our presidents are in the Illuminati like everyone's in the fucking in, in everybody like sports people musicians actors politicians they're all in the same fucking group so don't think that oprah plays that oh i want to help people and i want to save people 
like she's not a good person i'm telling you guys okay so michael jackson michael jackson but the question here is was he a pedophile was michael jackson a pedophile i think that okay so it's something is coming out magic we have magic i think that he felt the need to be kind of secretive and sneaky in regards to his sexuality. Um, he, did, he, I think that he was attracted to men and women. Now, when I say men and women, maybe he was attracted to younger boys. I like boys. I mean, I, I'm, when I say boys, I don't mean like 12 years old, but like I'm attracted to like 18, 19, 20 year old boys. I do, I am, I am. I'm not attracted to men. Like if you're over the age of 25, I'm not attracted to you. If you look like you're 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, hey, I'm down with it, let's go skateboarding let's go grab you know whatever and then let's go to bed <laughs> oh my god i'm gonna go to jail okay so i mean i'm not attracted to men i'm not attracted to men i'm not attracted to anybody that's past 25 i'm attracted to girls too you know like i look at a girl and i'm like oh my gosh she's hot as fuck i don't want to have sex with her but i'm like i can like appreciate it does that make sense to you guys um so i think like he felt kind of like he had to be a little sneaky he was very very private with his internal things he was very private about his sexuality he didn't want everybody to know what the fuck he was doing you know what it what kind of sex sex did he like who he was having sex with all of that but there's so many people in the industry that were like you know michael was always like yeah she's like hot she's like i like her i like her he was fucking mostly straight you guys okay but there is an element of like secrecy also he he used to do this weird thing that was kind of like he wanted to create like drama and like kind of like mystery about himself like he loved like dying his hair black and he you know wore the mask thing and he just wanted to create this kind of like a almost like an anime character almost like a not a real person because he wanted to create that kind of story quality that didn't exist like prior to michael jackson nobody walked like that talked like that dressed like that like even elvis and uh all those other people in the past i don't know what their names are but like all those other people in the past like they uh basically hold on my mom is calling um so like even the people in the past like they were like was, there was masculinity to them right like michael was like the, the first like artist that was kind of like i don't know he was just kind of like androgynous and i think that's really hot and a lot of like other countries like their male or female like artists are very androgynous. Like and androgyny is really attractive because it's like someone has the ability to tap into their masculinity and femininity. I'm like that. I have a very, you know, I'm able to tap into my dark side, to my light side, to my masculine side, to my feminine side. Like I can act like a guy, I can act like a girl, I can be feminine, I can be masculine. I think it's really amazing. And some people may feel uncomfortable being around people or watching people like that. But I always liked Michael because I related to that and Energy. Does that make sense? But I feel like he was a little bit, you know, like reclusive, secluded. He didn't like to be around a lot of people because of the way he grew up. He was like always the center of attention and everybody was like killing themselves to be near him. So he also, also, he never ever got to be a kid and to have fun and go to amusement parks and, ha you know, and go to like the arcade and like play video games and he had to work, you know, he became like Michael Jackson, like ever since he was like a little kid. So there is an element of secrecy um, and he was able to kind of show you who he wanted you to see. Does that make sense what I'm saying? Let me clarify these cards. I'm talking really fast and I have to go because I have other videos to make. Uh, so Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson. Uh, basically, my question is, was he a pedophile? Was he a pedophile? Yes or no? If you're over 25 years old, <laughs> don't ask me out. Okay, interesting. So, so by the way, the, the question is that, yes, he did die because the death card and the star card came out, came next to each other because there's this conspiracy about like oh michael jackson's alive and it's like elvis is alive no they're not alive they're fucking dead okay so michael jackson is dead and the death card and the star card is yes he died he's crossed over he's no longer here um but was he a pedophile let me see let me see let me see was he a pedophile thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you was he a pedophile was he a pedophile um, interesting, the card that came out is the Four of Cups. This to me, I feel like that label that he got and um, that most people started like associating him with that and calling him like Wacko Jacko, whatever they used to call him, really upset him. It made him really upset because he was such like a philanth philanthropist. Like, you know, he donated so much money and he like loved children and he uh, 
gave so much money to like ch children's hospital and things like that and i think that really upset him and made him super super sad that's him was he a pedophile did he like young boys um i don't see it you guys you guys i don't see it I, you guys i don't see it um that whole thing was like a tower moment for him it made him really really sad so it's all coming out uh, you know when people started like saying that oh he's a pedophile and he's like you know whatever uh, all these kids coming out and say yeah he abused me blah 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 like i really really upset him that was his tower moment in his life that was his tower moment and he couldn't believe that that was happening to him now who was doing that to him who was doing that to him the people in the industry were doing that to him they were trying to shut him up um this is control uh they were trying to shut his fucking mouth right here they're trying to shut his fucking mouth this is the control the music industry trying to control him shut his mouth close his mouth and because he wouldn't shut the fuck up because he kept talking about like sony and tony whatever the 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 vice president of like sony at the time tony Mattello, whatever his name is like since he was so vocal about it since he wouldn't shut up and he wanted to like really come out and start telling everybody like how evil the industry is how evil the music industry is how you know he that he didn't have the rights to his own music catalogs or something like that um and he wouldn't shut the fuck up so they got rid of him they got rid of him and they sacrificed him you guys saw the first card that came out the first card that came out where was where is it the first card, card that came out is the sacrifice card you guys saw that right um anything else i want to see let me see anything else anything, i gotta call my mom back so i gotta cut this video short my mom is doing really well you guys i'm manifesting 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 if you guys need to come to me for a session go to elrica.com if you guys want to come to me for like coaching like manifestation coaching so i can change your fucking lives go to elliarkit.com and book a session do a consultation if you guys want to purchase my makeup i don't have any makeup on but i mean like my lipsticks then go to elliarkitshop.com um okay what are, what are these cards that are falling out so the king of swords and the nine of swords so the king of swords and the nine of swords i don't know what his sign was i think he was like a leo I see fire in his chart. I also see earth in his chart. I don't remember what his birthday is. I think his birthday is like, I don't know, I don't know. Alexa! Michael Jackson's zodiac sign. Zodiac sign of Michael Jackson is Virgo. 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 Oh my God, he was a Virgo? Oh, that's crazy. He was probably close to Leo. I just feel like there's no way he was just like a Virgo, like straight up a Virgo, because Virgos are not, like they don't want to be, atten they don't want attention and be on center of, like, he has Leo, like I have Leo in my chart, my rising is Leo. So um, something in regards to all of this, like that really, okay, 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 let me, let, me, let me back up, let me back up. He couldn't sleep, you guys. You guys, he couldn't sleep and they used the medicine that he was getting intravenously to be able to relax and sleep as kind of an opportunity to get rid of him, to take him out of the game, to sacrifice him. The tower came out again in this deck. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um, and also, I think that they got the okay from the family. I think the family got a lot of fucking money. Immediately when, when Michael Jackson died, like his lawyer, Michael Jackson's lawyer, you guys, put together like, like a, this like international like thing where all these dancers got together and they went around the world and did like all his music and choreography and everything and they made like billions of dollars off of Michael when he died. Because when Michael was alive, he was like in a lot of debt. So when he died and he, they came up with this like massive like concert around the world and everybody was like so like traumatized by his death. So they all bought these tickets and they went and saw these like, you know, concerts like all around the world. So the lawyer and his agent and the people behind the scenes made billions of dollars off of his death. So he was sacrificed. I don't really see pedophilia. I really don't see it. Was he bisexual? Hugely possible. Um, was he secretive about his sexuality? Yes, he was. Did he have psychological problems? He probably did, because he didn't get a chance to be a kid. You know what I mean? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. And subscribe, like this video. Let me know what you guys want to see next. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Any ideas?
any ideas.